Hey, everybody. Welcome to our new short series of daily videos called Grace I Am. They're all about transformation, being transformed from something that wasn't working, as we'd hoped, into something that works better than we ever imagined. The primary scripture author about hope was a man named Paul. Originally, his name was Saul, and by his own admission, he was the worst sinner on the face of the earth. Well, grace is all about radical changes. Paul changed, and he became known as the Apostle of Grace and wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. Paul had absolutely the best religious pedigree in a nation that was all about religion. He came from a very religious family, went to private religious school, studied under the best religious teacher, rose to the top of the religious community, was a leader of religious leaders. He kept all the rules without fault, and he was an absolute jerk. <laughs> he was a religious maniac who was on a mission to persecute, kill, and destroy those who believed differently than he did. He was stubborn and angry and judgmental and mean-spirited and hateful and vindictive and ruthless, and his concept of God was just like him. Then one day, grace appeared to Saul, showed him the light of truth, and totally changed his life from religious negativity to spiritual positivity. Grace introduced Saul to the only true God, who was a polar opposite of Saul's concept of an angry God. And surprise, surprise, a God who had lived in Saul from even before he was born. Well, Saul, now named Paul, grasped this personal revelation so well that he immediately changed his life's mission. He went from a mean-spirited religious fanatic to a sweet-spirited, grace-filled guy who introduced the only true God to people who started forming little grace restoration teams all over the world. And instead of taking credit for this transformation himself, Paul proclaimed the truth. By grace, I am who I am, he said. Well, the only true God personally mentored Paul for some 13 years in the Arabian desert. This was 2,000 years ago. As a result of God's revelation to him, Paul began teaching and writing about the greatest spiritual mystery of all time. God has always been in every person, not separate, not distant, not out there, not judging and ready to punish the slightest infraction of the law, just the opposite. Paul told us there is a divine mystery, a secret surprise that has been concealed from the world for all generations, but now it's being revealed and unfolded and manifested for all to experience. He said, living within you, this is the mystery, is the Christ who floods you with the expectation of glory. This mystery of Christ embedded within us becomes a heavenly treasure chest of hope filled with the riches of glory for his people, and God wants everyone to know it. He says, Christ is our message. We preach to awaken hearts and bring every person into the full understanding of truth. He said, it's become my inspiration and passion to, in ministry to labor with a tireless intensity, with his power flowing through me to present to all people the revelation that they are already perfect in Jesus Christ. Paul also wrote, drawing on his own very personal experience of what Christ told him was true about all people. He wrote this. He said, this is the wonderful message that's being spread everywhere, powerfully changing hearts throughout the earth, just like it's changed you. Every believer of this good news bears the fruit of eternal life as they experience the reality of God's grace. He said, and we pray that you would be energized with all his explosive power from the realm of his magnificent glory, filling you with great hope. Your hearts can soar with joyful gratitude when you think of how God made you worthy to receive the glorious inheritance freely given to us by living in the light. God has rescued us completely from the tyrannical rule of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom realm of his beloved son. For in Christ, all our sins are canceled and we've been set free from our former way of life. Well, like Paul and like me, you're going to become awakened to the good news about who you really are, always have been and always will be. You're going to see and love and embrace the real you that you've maybe never met before. You, the real you, is amazing. God's amazing grace, grace personified, grace in person in you has already made you perfect. You are embarking on the inexhaustible adventure of knowing who God really is and who you really are. So today, take a few minutes in your secret place with Jesus, Papa, and Grace 
and say out loud, if you can, several times slowly, I am who I am by the grace of God. You are miraculous and amazing in God's sight. And that is the truth. Thanks for being with me. See you all next time.